All right, in this question, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the hydraulic diameter of a particular shape. In this case, what I give you is this is like an open channel, all right? And what you see is I have a semicircular shape, and this is open, the atmosphere over here, and there's a flow. The fluid is flowing over here. Also, it should be noted that if I'm looking at the most efficient cross section for an open channel, actually, of all the cross sections that we have, this is the most efficient one. Okay, this is additional formation. The reason is that it has the smallest wetted perimeter for a given cross-sectional area. Okay, some additional information. So that's why I'm solving this for you. Okay, let's go, go ahead and solve this question. First thing is look at the um, you know choices. They seem some of them are fairly involved. Let's see whether we need them, right? Okay, so what I do is I find this dh will be 4 times the cross-sectional area divided by the wetted perimeter. So then, okay, go, let's go ahead and do it four times. What is the cross-sectional area of a half a circle? That's going to be pi. d square over 4 is for the large full one. So this is half of it, right? The pi d square over 8, okay? About the wetted perimeter. Now, this part is important. This is open channel. If this was closed, I will explain in a minute as well. But let's first do the open one. It's going to be, right, the whole full circle is pi d. So this will be half of it, right? Pi d divided by 2, okay? Now, if this was a closed channel, so read the question carefully. If this was closed over here and the top of it is also occupied by this pipe material, then you are supposed to add, you know, you're going to do pi d square over 2 plus the d, right? That will be the... Uh, with its parameter if this was closed, but the question is testing me on open one because you'll see why it's kind of interesting in a minute Okay, let's go ahead and do it. So you can see over here that I will I will uh, Cancel this will be two these two will cancel this pi cancel this d canceled Did you get it? I got myself this dh is equal to diameter What is the hydraulic diameter of a full circular shape? That is diameter as well that is interesting. I just want you to realize it. That's one of the reasons why this is mo the most efficient cross section. Okay, but anyways, at the end of the day, I get myself this. Okay. One final question is, what would have been the hydraulic radius if I was to being asked that? Is it going to be d over two? No, the answer is d over four. I would like you to realize that. Okay. And thank you for watching this video.